All right, welcome back. And today I'm going to share with you this topic about search engine marketing. Now, before we go into this topic, let's say if you are selling certain products, like for example, you own a yoga studio and you want to sell your yoga packages to your potential prospects, there are certain things that you need to know if you want to launch a successful search engine marketing campaign. Now, I've studied one of the framework is called the intent-based search optimization. Now, this is a very good framework that I'm going to introduce to you because I find it very relevant for those people who want to launch a successful search engine marketing campaign. Now, in this intent-based search optimization, there are six categories okay which are listed out over here and i will go through one by one and over here you can see this marketing funnel called the tofu mofu and bofu which is top of the funnel middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel now each of the funnel they have a different type of audience and expectation like for example the top of the funnel is for those core audience who doesn't really know about your store okay let's say for example if you're selling yoga products you want the core audience to know your company name okay where is it located so you have to draft certain message and to attract those core audience to your yoga studio now for the middle of the funnel mofu is for those audience will really warm up okay let's say for example they, they already know that oh there are a few yoga studio nearby them but they are still considering which yoga studio will best suit them in terms of their needs and wants and also the bottom of funnel which is the hot audience okay these are the people that already know who you are your company name and your yoga products or packages but they just want to know are you reliable are you trustworthy based on the reviews okay based on any trial session that they can attend before they even want to buy a full package from you now in the intent based search optimization the six steps is as follows like for example the first step right you want to attract audience to come to your yoga studio and let's say nobody has heard of you before you can cater the core audience okay by having the search intent now you need to understand what it mean by search intent it is to identify your potential prospects the needs and the wants let's say for somebody who don't know about your yoga studio they want to know what are the best yoga studio around his location then you need to have certain keywords to understand his needs and wants to plug it into your search engine marketing campaign so that you can when you launch it you can roll out to attract this pool of core audience okay now in terms of the second step is your context as a lot of marketers they always try to do some keyword research but they need to understand what is the context behind the search intent let's say for example this potential prospects he want to uh, search the most convenient yoga studios around his house okay because he don't want to travel so far now the search context is because he don't want to travel so far so that's why if you understand what is the search intent and the search context you'll be able to come up with successful keywords to plug it inside your search engine marketing campaign so that it's easy searchable be it blogs websites or videos now when it comes to the third step which is your asset assets means in a different type of format it can be a blog post it can be a website it can be a video infographics doesn't matter because after you identify the search intent and context you need to come up with a format Okay, before you even launch this search SEM campaign. Now, on the fourth point, which is the channel. After you know the search intent, the search context, the assets that you need to come up with, you need to know where does this assets sit in, at which channel. Channel, uh, what I mean is search engine. It can be your 
Google search engine, it can be your YouTube search engine, Amazon, Yelp, TripAdvisor, or even Pinterest. Okay, so that when you put this assets in the channel, and once you're able to optimize it, this assets will be searchable by your potential prospects. Okay, then after that, on the fifth step is the optimization. Now, the optimization depends on your channel that this asset sits in. Let's say if you deciding to create a website to talk about your yoga packages, you need to optimize your website, okay, in terms of your meta title, description, your URL, your website loading speed, your images, your keywords research, all these need to be fully optimized before it is searchable, okay? Then after that, the here comes the sixth step, which is the last step, which is called the ascension. Now, this is one of the most important key element that a lot of business owners overlook. Let's say, for example, if you have already attract uh, certain prospects to your website, what do you want them to do next? What is the next course of action? Now, because let's say, for example, in the awareness stage, right, in the top of the funnel, you already attract them to a website to take a look what are the packages that you are offering. The next step is to ascend them, okay, to give them something to do. Let's say, for example, if you are offering a trial session of your yoga packages, you need to put it in your website so that after they visited your website, they will know uh, what to do next by clicking on the trial session to test out your yoga packages to see whether is it suitable for them before they even sign a long-term package with you. So if you want to have a successful search engine marketing, you need to know these six categories and also to align to which level of the marketing funnel. Depends on your awareness stage, consideration or the conversion stage. And all right, so I hope you have a better understanding of the intent-based search optimization so that you can successfully launch a search engine marketing campaign to attract your potential prospects to your businesses. Well, that's all for now and I hope to see you in my next video.